guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my August favorites. I cannot believe that it's already September. I swear this summer just flew by. It just completely blows my mind that summer is basically over now and it makes me so sad, but I'm so ready for fall. So without further ado, if you guys wanna know my favorites of the last month or so, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I have to talk about is this Dr. Jart Water Fuse Ultimate Hydro Gel. This stuff is amazing. I used it for the very first time in one of my vlogs on my vlog channel. This is a water-based gel. I say this in a lot of my videos, how I have oily skin, so I like to stick to gel moisturizers over creams because sometimes creams can just be a little bit thick on my skin and sometimes can clog my pores. I feel like gel moisturizers really keep my oils at bay while still giving me a ton of moisture. A little goes a very long way with this. I can take just the littlest amount on my finger and it will cover my entire face. The second it touches your skin, it's like a burst of hydration. I can't even explain it. And it also has a really nice cooling effect, which I really like as well because it just feels really refreshing and soothing. It's really nice for in the daytime because it is so lightweight so it's very hydrating without looking greasy or feeling like yucky like it has a film on your face so it's really nice to use under your makeup so yeah if you have oily skin I would highly recommend this even if you have combination or dry skin the claims do say that it works for all skin types but definitely for oily skin if you struggle with finding a moisturizer that doesn't make you feel really greasy or break you out or make you oily I would highly recommend that I am in love with it next thing I have is the new Kat Von D cream contour kit I used this for the very first time in my last video. So I filmed that probably like almost a week ago now. So I haven't even really been using it for that long. I mean, you can tell I've hardly made a dent in the palette, but I have used it probably like three or four times. And every time I've used it, I've loved it. It blends out so easily. I'm wearing it today. I do have a powder contour on top of it, so it's making it a little bit darker but the only shade that I used today was the very lightest shade in here. The shades are like spot on to the powder contour kit that she has, which is my favorite contour kit of all time. I use it every single day. So I really like that she came out with one that is basically identical, but a cream version because sometimes I like using creams over powders because it can look a little bit more natural. I feel like it's very pigmented without being too much product. So you can really like build your way up and it blends out really, really easy, like I said before. Then we have the Dose of Colors this is the Desi and Katie collab and this is in the shade Fuego. This is a highlighter. I believe this is the lighter one out of the two that they came out with. This formula is amazing. It's a very wet looking highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today and I love this so much. I do have some acne that's coming through on this cheek so it is kind of enhancing the texture a little bit but on this side you can see how it looks when I don't have acne and it's just beautiful. I love how you can build it up super blinding. It can be even way more blinding than it is right now. I just put a little bit on and it doesn't look powdery or chunky at all. It's almost like your skin is just wet basically. That's what I really like about it. I love the shade and the undertone it has to it too. And I'm also so proud of Desi and Katie. Desi was actually the reason why I started my YouTube channel. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but she was the first person who I ever watched on YouTube and I was just so intrigued by her and she's so beautiful. Katie too, I love her so much. Definitely some of my favorite YouTubers out there. It's just really cool that the person who made me want to start my channel is coming out with collabs and just doing so great so I'm super proud of them. The next things I've been loving are these brand new NYX Love Out Loud cream lipsticks. I love the formula. I'm wearing one of them right now. The shade is called Brilliant and it is so pretty. I love all these purple shades. Oh they make me so excited for fall. Purple is my favorite color of lipstick to wear. Even when I wear nudes it always has like a purple undertone to it. I just feel like purples really bring out blue eyes and I don't know, I love wearing them. Love the formula of these, they are so comfortable and they look like a very, well they have a cream finish but they just look so soft and they just make your lips look really like plump and supple. So this one is called Confident, it's the lightest nude in the collection. Then we have Brilliant which is the one that I'm wearing, so pretty. This next one is Extraordinary really pretty vibrant purple and you guys can see I'm only doing one swipe and they're so pigmented can't even see my skin tone through these lipsticks so I'm blown away by this formula this one is called fearless this one is called brave it's almost more of like a blue tone this one looks really pretty on for like a vampy lip and then this one is called passionate oops 
I mean, you can see on my lips how stunning they are. And I just feel like creams and satin lipsticks look so stunning on the lips, especially if I'm having like a dry lip day, you know, like sometimes you have those days where no matter how much water you drink, how much chapstick you put on, your lips are just like cracking and dry. So it's nice to have lipsticks that won't enhance any of that once in a while. Then we have the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. And what I love about this, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. I love the frosted glass and it's very sturdy and a very heavy feeling container. So it just feels like it's very nice and fancy and I love the lid. Anyways, besides the packaging, this is beautiful to set your under eyes with. I don't necessarily use this to set my entire face, but setting your under eyes, it is stunning. It's more of a satin finish, so underneath the eyes, it just makes them look flawless. If you use a powder that's too matte, sometimes your under eyes can look very crepey, and it brings out all of your lines and texture into them. And this, oh my God, when you set your concealer, it is just flawless. It makes your under eyes look so smooth. So I set my under eyes with this powder today. I only brought it down to about right here. And then I use a different powder, which I'm gonna talk about later, to set the rest of my face. And it's just like the perfect mixture, I feel like. I have tried setting my entire face with this one time. And I don't know if it was the foundation I used or if it was this, but it didn't really control my oil that well. And I'm assuming it's only because that it has more of a satin finish to it. I usually need a matte powder to set like my forehead because I do get pretty oily on my forehead and my nose. And it didn't really control my oil that much unless it was the foundation I used, but I am gonna c continue to keep trying this. But even if I would buy this again and again and again, just to use underneath my eyes, I think it is a beautiful setting powder and it just makes your under eyes look flawless. Now the setting powder that I was just talking about that I use to set the rest of my face is the Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder. So I raved about the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder and I still love that. I still swear by that powder, but it does not control my oil as much as let's say like the Velour Mercier powder used to, or still does. I still love that powder. When I use the Perfect Setting Powder, I usually set my entire face with a loose setting powder. It wasn't really controlling my oil as much as I wanted it to. If I were to wear it for like six hours, I would still be matte. Then anytime after that, I would start to get a little bit oily. Whereas this powder, this is the matte version of the Perfect Setting Powder, and this controls my oil so much more. It has that same kind of look to it. I don't set my under eyes with this though. I have been using this one and I like this to set my under eyes better, but this to set your entire face with is stunning. It completely controls my oil, but still doesn't look like too matte, like it's like sucking all the life out of you. I used it today everywhere except my under eyes, like I just said, and you can still see I have a little bit of like a satin finish to my skin. So even though it is a matte powder, it still isn't gonna look like you're super dry and like matte. It still has a very like look to it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Then I have two pigments to talk about. These are by the brand J Cat Beauty Shine Your Day Shimmer Powders. I found these at Ulta and these were like two bucks and I love them. There's no sifter in it, which I actually kind of like because you can just dip your brush into it. This is what that shade looks like. By the way, this is the shade SP125 I'm gonna go with, but I really don't think that's it. I'm gonna, I'll find it on the Ulta website and I'll link it down below. Are you kidding me? Like how Stunning is this. It is literally the most blinding metallic pigment I've ever seen and for three or two dollars, insane. I, can't, I couldn't even believe it. Now this one, this is more of a like coppery shade. It's SP106. I'm assuming that's the shade. Okay, so I just put way less up here and that's what this one looks like. What I really love about these is just how easy they're to use. Just shake it up on your finger and then tap it on your eyelid and it works just flawlessly. But yeah, so I do like this one a little bit more just because I can use it for more things and it's just more of a neutral shade, which I like. And the last thing I have is another thing from the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collection. This is the lip gloss in the shade Over the Top. I've been loving this so much. I actually had it on earlier today and I wish I would have kept it on to show you guys, but it is the wettest looking lip gloss I've ever used. It has so many glitter particles in it that the way that it reflects on your lips, it just looks so wet. It's so pretty. It makes your lips look huge. That's one thing that I do love about lip, lip glasses too, is that they make your lips look so much bigger because they just look more like full and voluptuous. Desi and Katie killed that entire collection and Dose of Colors. So if you guys haven't tried their collection out, I would highly recommend it. Okay guys, so that's everything for today. I really hope you guys like this video. I love doing favorites videos. These are like my favorite videos to film. Let me know down in the comments what your favorites have been for this month. I love when you guys tell me your favorite things because then I can go out and buy them and test them out. And like 99% of the time when you guys recommend something to me, I end up loving it. So yeah, let me know what you guys have been loving down in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.